Hopefully your defense can turn it. If not, you still get an out. O'Shaughnessy checks his swing and he went around. Labus continued to feed the ball inside. Labus trying to come all the way back, induces a ground ball to the right side, picked up by Doty over to Morgan, and the Penguins, after loading the bases, do not score. Swing. Cruz was one for three yesterday, and he tattoos one, tattoos one deep to left center field. It falls down just short of the warning track, and Cruz easily motors to second base with a driving double that almost carried to the warning track in... Here's the 1-1, breaking pitch, stroked into right center field, that's down. Cruz had to wait to see if the ball might be caught. He is stopping at third. The Tigers have back-to-back -back hits, a booming double by Cruz and a soft liner to right center. Cade Beloso is on deck, a liner into left center field and that's going to roll a while. Cruz scores easily, Morgan digging for third. They put on the brakes, the throw back to second base, not in time. A double by Doty, and the Tigers are off with a 1-0 lead. A double, a base hit, and a double. Yeah, just what the doctor ordered. The offense stays hot. Ball middle, middle away, and Doty just stays on and hits a liner into the left center gap and gets on his horse. And now the Tigers got something really cooking. First home run of the season yesterday. This ball is stroked sharply to the right side. The second baseman has it. Morgan scores easily from third, and Beloso drives in the second run of the bottom of the first inning on a sizzler, but right to the second baseman, Whaler. Yeah, and I'm in God for this Tiger team. Dugas sends one down to third base. A very nice play by the third baseman, Glenn, as he reached across toward foul territory, made the backhanded pick after LSU won yesterday. A swing and a drive between the first baseman and the foul line. Wyeth is on his way to second base, and he will stop there. He hit a smoker between O'Shaughnessy and the foul line behind first base. It wound up in foul territory down near the bullpen, and Wyeth stops at second base. That's already the third two-bagger of the game for LSU. Yeah, Wyeth really pulled those hands in tight to his body and was able to just drive that base. Field and scored later in the inning. He drives one into right, and this is caught a tremendous catch by Bucko in right field. Bucko with a marvelous Superman leave your feet layout catch, and then he did the belly flop on the grass and holds on. What a play by the right fielder. Couldn't hit a ball much harder than that than Cruz did, but got to give credit to Bucko right there of leaving his feet. Good takes a strike. Next pitch rammed on a hop. Down into the right field corner. It kicked up dirt on the backside of the infield. He's on his way to second base, and he is there with a double down into the right field corner. So that's. And he cannot find the offering. Fourth, LSU leading 2 0. And a drive to left center field off the bat of Turner Graw. He is making the turn at first base. Drost. Throws it back to the infield, but a stand-up double by Turner Graw. He liked what he saw early in the count, did he not? Yep. Labus comes back with another breaking pitch, and it freezes Nick Caruso. It's another Tabasco strikeout. Tabasco is the pitch. Swing and a slow tapper over the hill. Grabbed by the second baseman. He turns and fires, and Doty gets it to Morgan in time. So an RBI ground out on a slow tapper the stretch now a fastball swing and a tap down to the right side morgan has to leave his feet to get it he races to the bag and beats caruso fourth inning extended his hitting streak to five games he hits a ball into right center field <clears throat> and there's a collision the ball drops loose nasanti and benio collided face to face in right center field both of them, after the impact, went to the ground, and the ball came loose. Yeah, I'm surprised none of them are, are hurt because it looked like they ran into each other pretty hard. I mean, hard enough to make the ball lodge loose. Both of them are calling for it, and they smacked each other in a head-on collision. But they collided, and the ball came loose. Duga swings and misses and goes down on strikes. It took only three pitches for him, him to record the second out. 
A swing and a ground ball right side. We Whaler is right there, throws it to first base for the out. The Tigers leave a runner at second, fielder and the center fielder. Was an error on the right fielder. This bunt is perfect. As, J as that ball was dropped on the right side. A check of the runner to the plate. Off speed, swung on, popped up, left side, playable. And squeezed with one hand by Jordan Thompson at third base. This southpaw starter, Floyd. Ground ball just past the diving glasser at shortstop. He tried to make the play on the backhand side. He left his feet and got dirty in the process. The 2-1 pitch. Swung on and looped to center field. That's down for a base hit. Trey Morgan delivers again. A parachute drop base hit to straightaway center field, and Morgan is three for three with a walk and an RBI and a run scored, and he continues to be a contributor to LSU's success. Yeah, have a day, kid. 92-mile-an-hour fastball in on the hands, and that's what I love about the kid's approach. He chokes. Two outs, a runner at first. Doty slashes one with authority to left field. It gets to the left fielder on a couple of hops. A stream of milk single to the left side by Cade Doty. And that hit Beloso. Or you can just do that, just hit him and give him the base. <laughs> so in this season. He swings on this pitch and lifts it very high in the air near first base, and it is grabbed by Desanio. And fires and misses with the first one. The second one is driven into right center field. It's down on the grass, cut off in deep right center by Brady, Brady, uh, Brody Drost as he gets it back to the infield. And a base hit by Benyo for the day. Runner is on the move, and the pitch is a little bit high. So the Penguins extend the inning, and they get the tying run at first base as the right side wiggles the barrel of the bat. He swings, he lines it into left field, a clean base hit. And a run scores from second base. That's a heck of a job by Nick Caruso. He got a pitch down the middle, essentially, and drilled it to left field to score the runner from second. Yeah, Fondo would like to have that pitch, just a slider that caught too much of the plate and Caruso able to just stay. Letter high, he uncoils, he fires. A line drive to center field and that's down in front of the center fielder Drost. The Penguins have tied the game. What an at bat by Nasanti. He has done to LSU's best reliever what does not often happen. Fontenot has faced three batters. He has walked one and delivered two RBI singles. And this Penguins team has come back to tie it with two in the eighth. Runs, he's 3-0, and oh, and now misses high to Whaler. The bases are loaded. Fontenot has not retired a batter. The 1-0. A swing and a drive to center field. It is playable, and it is grabbed by Drost. But there's a big breaking pitch. It freezes Malazzo as he could not pull the trigger, and that one had a tremendous amount of bend to it. Ground ball left side. Arnold bobbled it on the backhand side, throws it, and it bounces past Trey Morgan. The runner is on his way to second. Arnold could not make the pickup on the backhanded side and probably should have just put it in his pocket. But he threw it wide up the right field line. Trey Morgan tried to leave the bag to save it, but he couldn't do it. And Arnold had virtually no chance to get the runner after the initial bobble. Yeah, you said it best probably once the first. Looks at the runner, kicks and delivers. Swing and a pop-up. Malazzo hustling back for it. He stabs it! Malazzo with an incredible play. Malazzo had difficulty locating that ball. It did not have a great deal of height. He ran back and then saw it at the last moment, lunged up on the screen to make this play. Yeah, this is a big league play behind the plate. No room for error. He leaped up into the net and grew the stretch. A cold third strike. A fastball throws 
Turner Grawl. What? That leads the Tigers. And that breaking ball does not break, and it hits Cruz. Nobody warming up in the bullpen either. So oh. This time a throw to first gets by. It rolls down in foul ground. Cruz is rounding second. Cruz is on his way to third. Nolan Kane puts on the brakes there. And the errant throw at first base has allowed Dylan Cruz to pinwheel around and get to third. The 2-2. Two -two. A drive deep to left field. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Kate Doty with a walk-off home run in the bottom of the ninth inning as the LSU Tigers come from behind and get two in the ninth in their final at bat. Say hello to home run number two for Kate Doty, and it is a game winner as the mob celebration continues at the plate. Wow, what a finish for LSU.